Hi everyone, Liz here. Thanks for stopping by. So I've got some compilation reviews to show you that were in my uh, Christmas video. And then I've got a new home bag in to show you as well. And these and the new parcel were sent to me by DIYChoose.com. So a huge thank you DIYChoose for sending me them. And I love these. They're absolutely wonderful. I can't remember if I showed you the completion review on this one or not. So I'm showing you again because I'm blown away by it. I love it. And I do wish I'd got a few more. But anyway, there's always next Christmas. <laughs> so it came with this fantastic little like bow and uh, fern leaves and holly berries and everything. And it's even got a little pine cone there. Look as well at that side and that side. So, yeah, I mean, that in itself was a really, really nice item to receive. Um, I've tied it up quite a bit because I didn't want it hanging too low. I quite like the fact that uh, I could have it a little bit shorter. By putting it through the front of the decoration, then it only shows just that little tiny bit when it's hanging on the wall. Or you could just literally use a command strip or something. If you didn't want the decoration, you could use that for something else. But it was the detail on this that blew me away. It's all the different colours. So I'll check if this still is available on the website um, if you're wanting to stock up for next Christmas. I mean, to be fair, if you take that off, then you could have this up all year round because he's a gorgeous little owl and he could just sit there and look at you, couldn't he? <laughs> yeah, I mean, he's in a like a... a a fair tree so you've just got your pine cones all right there's a holly leaf there but that could be all year round as well we do the holly just doesn't disappear after christmas does it it is still in the gardens so well ours is anyway <laughs> so yeah he's gorgeous and then this one i've got to show you it again i know i've shown it uh, a few times and it was on my walkthrough video but this is uh, one of my favourite, if not the favourite, canvas that I did over Christmas. And I just love it so much. The colours and the sparkle are wonderful. Again, it doesn't necessarily scream Christmas. I think if I had him still up now, in fact, I've only just taken him off the wall today to show you he's been up that long. Because I might just have something to replace it with in this uh, little unbagging. Uh, so, yeah, I'm hoping to get that one done as well. So, yeah, it's like a wreath, but it's like an oval shape with this gorgeous flower at the bottom, which I think is a winter rose. And then we've got the bow there as well. And it's all like twinklers. It's not just your plain gems. You've got your twinklers in it. So it just sparkles that little bit more. But even those, look on the feathers, they've got an iridescent coating on those marquees. So you get that sparkle and then those big red gems just to bring it all together with all the little berries all the way around. I just love it and the eyes. It, uh, yeah, it was definitely one of my favourites, if not the favourite canvas that I did this year. So I've just got to show it again, any excuse. But sadly, unfortunately, Mr Owl, you are going to be going away now until next year. And then we'll get you back out again. And you can be uh, shining away. Yeah, he was actually right in my eyesight um, when I sat down on the settee. I had him so that I could look at him all the time if I wanted to. <laughs> he was next to Hubby, actually. So Hubby kept saying, why are you looking at me? I said, I'm not looking at you. I'm looking at the owl. <laughs> so that is him. He's absolutely gorgeous. So, yeah, that's just a couple of little items I thought you might like to see before we get into the new ones. So, I say a huge thank you, DIY Chose, for sending me these. Um, there are lots of special offers on at the moment. Uh, there is a 5% off if you spend over $59. So, wow, excellent. Free shipping over $49. But if you put five in your basket, you'll only pay for four. If you put 10 in your basket, you'll only pay for... You'll only pay for eight and if you put 15 in your basket i've not got enough fingers uh, you'll only pay for 12. <laughs> if you're wanting to stock up after christmas if you've got all, all all your canvases done and you need some more then that's a great way to start off the new year with some new canvases and there are lots of really really good new things coming out so let us see what we got so we have oh a special and it is fashion the specials at the moment, so I think you can probably guess what these are. And another special. And a 
another special and that's an extra special one i'll tell you with that one okay so i'm going to open this one first because this is the one that is going to replace the owl that i've just taken down so i need to get my skates on and get this one done otherwise i've just got an empty frame on the wall <laughs> So I use the magnetic frames um, so that I can just take my pictures out and put a new one in, which is so excellent. I love those magnetic frames. They're just wonderful because it's so easy to just take one out and put the new one in. OK, so can you guess what it is? Look. Oh, how pretty is this? Yay. So this is like the spring summer version. Oh, not quite as many big specials on it as the other one but uh, yeah still very very pretty okay so we've got pen butt and wax so i'll just put the other one next to it so you can see we're a similar sort of owl and a similar sort of oval shape sorry there's a bit glare on that isn't there so yeah we're uh, twinnies <laughs> Okay, so we're more pastel-y colours uh, and more spring summer, which, yay, spring is on the way. Albeit it's very, very cold at the moment and we keep getting rain, but it's a lovely bright sunny day today. It's what we used to call running away weather. Just put your coat on and off you go, because it's nice and sunny. So when you get in the sun, it's nice and bright and warm. It's just if you get any cold breeze and it has just rained for about five seconds so all my windows are now wet and it stopped raining so there'll be a rainbow somewhere <laughs> rainbows and spring what more could we wish for right so let's give him a good flatten down and the price of this one was uh five dollars and nine cents which in a pound sterling for great britain is three pounds 99 so under four pounds for a diamond painting cheaper than a coffee and a mince pie i'm still going to go on about that i'm sorry those mince pies were just so expensive look even the crows agree i don't know whether you heard that in the background but i've got some crows uh, i've just put some food out for the birds this morning so they're all trying to get onto my little food station uh, that i've got in my garden <laughs> and they like to announce their arrival you know okay so we are, oh, it's only nine different gems and colours. All right, let's have a quick measure. I think we'll be 25 by 35, but, but just double check. Yay, 25 centimetres, nine and three quarter inches. Bye. Uh, oh, yep, 35 centimetres, 13 and three quarter inches. So these fit wonderfully in those uh, 30 by 40 magnetic frames. Yay! Oh, it's just so pretty. It needs a really good flatten because uh, it's been ro it's been rolled round the gems, so it needs to just go under something heavy. Or if you're impatient, you can always iron the back as well. But I'll probably have to leave this one actually a day or so just to get it to flatten before I start uh, working on it. Otherwise, you can't really iron it once the gems are on. <laughs> well, you can, but it's it's not always a good look afterwards. All right, so we've got a, a lovely background. It's like an ombre effect with like this bluey, pinky purple going all the way to a very, very dark blue. So actually, it's like this is more like a night sky up here. And then this is like daytime. And then the middle has just got the lighter one. Oh, my goodness, the beds are having a real good uh, fight out there, really cross with one another today. Obviously, one's got a bit bigger piece of fold than the other one. Mm. And then we've got, oh, look at these. Oh, my goodness. Oh, now then, this one would be a really good one um, to do the video on. I keep promising I will do the video on putting down the little teeny tiny slivers, as Mindy from Mindy's Diamond Moment calls them. Um, the little teeny tiny teardrops. And look how many are on this. Oh, my goodness. All these little flowers at the bottom. So that's going to take some doing. So, oh, and they're all at the top as well. Oh, goodness. There are a lot of them. So, yeah, this would probably be a good one for a whip and chat. 
so watch this space i will try and get this one done as a whip and chat or some of it anyway it's just my way of how i pick up the little teeny tinies and put them on and what i do um i'm sure other people have their own way of doing it as well but sometimes if somebody shows you you can maybe try it their way and then sometimes that leads you to actually then having your own way uh, and working out how it's best for you to do it as well so that's what i do i watch other people and i maybe give it a go as to what they're doing and then i think oh well if i try it this way this works better for me so it's always best to try that way but yay thank you diy chose i've got another owl to replace my owl that was one of my favorites at christmas oh he's so pretty that is there it's a little bit like a jellyfish mushroom shape that one that's a very different flower not quite sure what that one is it's very pretty though and we've got all these little teardrops coming down there as well right let's have a look at these gems and see what we got okay oh i can see a hot pink yes <laughs> so we have a lovely crystal there and a nice grassy green and we have that's like a yellowy goldy color and a very very pale blue and more of a honey gold color <gasps> and look at those little teeny tiny teardrops oh my goodness me that is a huge bag of those that is going to take some doing and uh, yeah when i'm using those i do tend to lose quite a few because unless i've got them under my magnifying glass then i do tend to uh yet yeah, not be able to see them <laughs> and look hot pink teardrops i mean that just makes those look giant doesn't it putting those uh, pink ones next to those blue ones you just think the pink ones are giant so that's how small they are and then oh we've got like a fire red orange uh marquee there and oh look some little roses some little pink roses with an iridescent coating so i'm guessing that these are number nine yes so the roses are just in the middle of these two flowers just to make up the very centre of the flowers. So that'll be pretty. And then have we got, oh yes, we've got then the fire red going around the edges. So they will actually look more pink. Um, when you get an iridescent coating on a gem, it does tend to take on um, the colours of the gems around it and next to it. So although that looks quite bright, I think that's going to sort of like tone that down a little bit. So it won't be quite so um, red as it were there. So excellent. Oh gosh, that's going to take some doing all those little teeny tinies. So yay. But very, very pretty. And I love that. It's just looking at you. Look, it's just looking down. Saying, oh, well, spring's here. <laughs> okay. Right. Let's have a look at the next one. So then this one, when I saw it, I thought I've got to get this. I've got to get this and uh, I will show you why. If I can work out where the end is to get into it. Come on, stop trying to fool me. Is it there? It's there. Yes. <laughs> I'm sure they hide these on purpose. Just so when you're unboxing, you're thinking, this is going to take a bit longer than I thought to get into. <laughs> Okay, so this one was $4.99, which works out about £3.93. It's a smaller 30 by 30. We're still on a bird theme. And it's a special drill. So look, it's a parrot. Oh, and it's just gorgeous. I just loved the colours. I love the fact that it's sat in a flower wreath again, similar to the owl. And I do have a parrot called Billy that watches me. Billy's mum has typed out a little message to me telling me that Billy now has a little brother called Max. So, hello, Billy. Hello, Max. <laughs> I've got this one especially for you. I know you don't look like this, but when I see anything to do with parrots, I do think of Billy. And now I shall think of Max. Apparently, a Billy imitates my laugh. So I do apologise because I know it can get quite annoying. I've got quite a distinctive laugh. <laughs> I used to get into a lot of trouble for my laugh and my giggle uh, when I was younger. Uh, so, yeah, but work didn't mind quite so much because they always knew where I was because they could hear me. <laughs> so look at that. The 
feathers and everything on it and the colours. I just saw it and I thought, oh, that is so happy and colourful that I've just got to get it. Oh, and it's only six colours as well. And we do have the gem codes on it. Did uh, the owl have gem codes on? It did. So when we're kitting down, we can put the gems away in uh, order of the number. So that's good. I do like uh, everything to be organised. I'm just one of those people, what can I say? <laughs> so we have a pen, boat and wax, our little standard toolkit. Look at that. Oh, it's got a real sort of mischievous look in its eye, this parrot, hasn't it? I love parrots. If I didn't have Millie, uh, our little Scotty dog, then my other animal that I would probably get is a parrot because I just think they're marvellous animals. They're so intelligent and yeah so much fun i know my friend i don't know if i've said before but my friend uh, had one and it used to torment her mum because her mum was a dressmaker and she used to try and get into a room without the parrot but the parrot was a bit like houdini and rather than escaping could actually get into rooms and things without you realizing and uh, yeah he, he used to run up and grab a piece of the pattern or a piece of the material and run off with it and she'd be going to him, shoo, shoo. And he'd be going back to her, shoo, shoo, ha, and laughing at her. And she used to get really, really cross. And the crosser she got, the funnier it was. And we just used to laugh. So we used to get into trouble as well. <laughs> but yeah, that was a fantastic parrot. It, he was um, an African grey, you know, the grey ones with the little bit of red tail. And uh, yeah, I think he's, I think he's still around. I know he was about 30 something. Um, when I was younger, so yeah, maybe he's still around. But yeah, he was great fun. He was a little torment. I don't like it when they've got a funny personality. <laughs> right, so our six, 36, sorry, my, yeah. I it's, like it's not wonderful. Oh, this one's got a hot pink as well. Ooh, right, okay, so we have two packs of the green. So I'm thinking this is going to be, oh yeah, number one. So we're all over the parrot here, the darker green and in the leaves as well. So very nice. We're starting off with a darker colour at the bottom. We've then got this gorgeous deep red. Oh, that's lovely. And then a paler green. Oh, that's a different green. So really, if you look at it with the dark green, that's a real different shade to it. Oh, it doesn't look quite so different on camera. But that's a lovely shade. Oh, we've got a hot pink. Yes. And then we've got a very pale, like honey gold and hot pink teardrops. Yay. So all these flowers going round are going to be hot pink. And our little parrot is going to have hot pink on it as well. Yay. I love my hot pink. <laughs> <laughs> and it sparkles uh, what more can i say so that is absolutely wonderful i love that so i'll do a quick measure but i think we'll find it'll be 25 uh, centimeters the actual picture area so yeah 25 centimeters nine and three quarter inches square uh, it is a partial, as they're called. Most specials are partials. Occasionally, you do get your full crystals, um, but this one is a partial, so you don't do any of the background. But isn't he gorgeous? Oh, you could just give it a little sunflower seed or something, couldn't you? He's definitely up to something. He's got that little, not wicked, but, uh, yeah, mischievous glint in his eye, this one. He's just looking around and he's about to go and grab something or do something. <laughs> Okay, so that's our number two. So let's have a look at the last one. So look at this, all spring flowers. I'm definitely getting a bit more flowery as I'm getting older. Um, I was always very cute and cuddly. Uh, no, not myself. I mean, the things that I liked. <laughs> I've never been cute. <laughs> so I've been pretty cuddly. I've always been uh, a little bit chunky. So yeah, you can always probably say I've been cuddly, but I've never been cute. <laughs> <laughs> okay and let's have a look at this one oh, look oh look oh oh look at that little face oh my goodness me and look how it's sat it's got his little feet out and then his little paws just on top oh that is so pretty oh look at that Oh, I love it. Absolutely love it. 
And this one again I say is a 30 by 30. It's a partial, so it is just all the special shapes and crystals all on the top. Oh, oh, oh. oh dear. Do you know it's a good job Hubby's out, otherwise he'd be saying, what are you talking about? And I love everything. But I suppose I do pick things that I don't like. <laughs> Again, there's quite a few sort of like in a set of these. So if you did want to get the set, you know, you could get this one um, and a couple of others to make up a bigger picture on the wall, as it were, put in a, a few together in a set. But oh, that is just so sweet. Look at that little nose. It's only a baby, isn't it? I just love the way it's sat with its little paws, its little legs out and its little paws. Oh, Oh, I love bunnies. I absolutely love bunnies. We've had a few bunnies over the years. But, uh, yeah, it's not something that you can really have with a terrier dog. Yeah, she'd just worry it. Albeit, if you get one of those really big bunnies, then I think the bunny would probably worry the dog. <laughs> right, we have a pen, butt and wax. Uh, the price of this one was $4.59. So, which works out at £3.60. So yeah, again, under £4 for a diamond painting. In fact, all of these three that I've shown you have been under £4 in price, which is excellent. Well, let's have a look at these crystals. Okay, wow. Oh, we've got another hot pink. Wow, three out of three. Oh, it's definitely my day today. This is a definite Liz Unboxing specials and they've all got hot pink in. Yes. Thank you, DIY Joes. <laughs> so we've got your brownie colour there and a lovely clear crystal and hot pink and a lime green and a sea blue and a violety colour there. And then the semispheres that are full gold colour. And a little bit smaller semi-sphere in full gold. And a palish marquee. Oh, they're the ones without the facets on. So they give you a really different uh, look on your canvas when you get one that hasn't got a facet on. It looks really like glass when it's on and shines just that little bit different from the ones that have got the facets on. And then we've got your standard marquees in your uh, silver with an iridescent coating on. So let's have a look where a few of these specials go. So the pinky ones, are they C, A, B, C, D, yeah, are all your pinky bits on your flowers, the C's. The A, I've got a big bag of those. I mean, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So, yeah, plenty of spares left over there. And the smaller ones are B. Oh, so look, they're all dotted around in between the middle of the little daisies and everything so they're going to be really really pretty and then the little pink marquees so going on the pink and then the final one which is d are on the daisies d for daisy yay oh look how cute is that oh that little i just love the way it's sat just sat with its little paws and its little legs <laughs> oh it's lovely Oh, don't you just want to pick them up and cuddle them? <laughs> just me then. <laughs> oh dear. Okay, so we started off with our Christmas owls, which are going away now for next year. Still love that one. That is absolutely gorgeous. It came out so well. If you do want to see uh, the full unboxings and everything on those, they are in my oh, yeah. Choose playlist, so go and check that out. Uh, then we went on to the new ones, which was an owl, which is very, very pretty in all nice pastel colours with a little bit of hot pink. And then we had our gorgeous parrot, look at that, and the cute little bunny. Actually, that's looking at that bunny thinking, haha, I'm going to come and grab your tail and make you jump. <laughs> and the bunny's saying, no, you're not, I can hop faster than you. <laughs> Okay, well, a huge thank you, DIY Chose, for sending me these. I've thoroughly enjoyed looking at them, and I can't wait to get them done. If you've enjoyed looking at these with me, then a thumbs up is always very much appreciated. Don't forget to go and check out all those special offers as well and get some of those canvases free. Yay! And if, you, if you've got any comments or questions, in the comments down below. Get back to you as soon as I can. 
And if you want to come back and see what we get up to next and join our little family, then if you press that subscribe button down in this corner and the all notifications bell that pops up, you'll be notified when any of my videos come up. So you're not going to miss anything. Yay! OK, thank you ever so much for stopping by. And I do hope to see you all again soon. Bye for now.